Maybe I'll show you guys around. I don't know if I've actually given you a proper tour inside of the Jeep while I'm sleeping and stuff. So we got my bed space right here. Pretty, uh, pretty small space, but you know, I'm not a big guy. All my food and whatnot there, my guitar just stacked. My cooler, duffel bag. So there it is, there's the tour. So I bought this nice uh, light, it's rechargeable. It's got a solar like recharger for it. And it hooks onto things, just hook it right there, bam. You guys been wondering what I've been doing for water. You're looking at one of them. This is a seven and a half gallon tank of water. And I've just been filling them up at uh, campgrounds, campsites that aren't vacant, or uh, ranger stations. So it's got an easy nozzle. Just turn it, flows super fast. This is a one liter, 32 ounce. Yeah, it kind of makes a mess sometimes. And there we go. That's all I do for water. Pretty easy. So what I've got going on here for screenage on my uh, back windows, I'll leave those open usually every night. Um, I did talk to the ranger at the ranger station. He said that bears are not going to get in there if I you know, have food in there and have the windows rolled down at night. He said maybe in California. I just bought some window screen, put some duct tape around the edges of all that. Cut it to size of this, and then I bought some heavy duty magnets and uh, wrap those in duct tape as well. And then I just magnet four corners. Bam, bam, bam. Roll my window down and then we're good to go. So I'm just gonna run you guys through the process of what I do to uh, take stuff down and put those totes up and kinda cleaning up camp and getting ready to hit the road after I'm sleeping in my Jeep. Got my toolbox in one of them, which weighs a lot, and I can't bring it up and down with the toolbox in it, so I gotta take the toolbox out. tarp that I'll lay down where I sleep so that if I have any gravel, dirt, rain, anything like that on the bottom of these, it doesn't get on the part where I sleep. All right, so since I have one tote on top of the other, I need to tie this top one down so it's not sliding uh, back and forth, running into things and stuff. So I got nice tie down points on the Jeep here. I got a ratchet strap running around. And since that's not long enough, I just have a bungee, small bungee cord uh, hooked to that. And then we'll go ahead and tighten this baby up. There we go. And that should be good. And after that, usually it's about a five, 10 minute process getting all the mosquitoes out that I just let in. And then I'm ready to hit the road. I'm sure you guys have been wondering what I've been doing with the power situation as well. Well, obviously, you know, this one's fairly easy. Just got one of these cigarette lighters and it's got two USB cables. Usually good with just plugging my phone in. I have uh, the GPS. And then some solar chargers that can charge a little faster if you plug it into that. 
For anything beyond that, I have a power inverter down here. You can see it's 400 watt. It's got two, the regular outlets. And right next to that, it's got two USBs. So the key to that is just make sure you shut it off when you're not driving anywhere. So far, that's about all I needed. So that in a combination of stopping at coffee shops and stuff to upload videos and whatnot, it's been working pretty well. And before I leave, whenever I'm hiking, every two miles or so, um, just sporadically, I'll uh, do a spot check, make sure I got my wallet, my keys, and my phone. Those are the three things that I pretty much need.